Standards Aligned episode. At the end of today's episode, there will be a quiz item related to Common Core CCSS Math Content 2MDC7. Solve word problems involving U.S. money appropriately. Good luck. Chiketti, my name is Paxton. The world is awesome. I'm here to help you know and care more about the world beyond the USA. It's January twenty fifth, twenty twenty two. Our first headline is: Turkmenistan's president wants to close the Darvaza gas crater. What is the Darvaza gas crater? It's a giant gas hole that's constantly on fire. That President Gurban Guliberdi Muhammadov seems a bit embarrassed about, perhaps because it's one of Turkmenistan's most famous sites. It formed in the early 1970s when the ground collapsed during a drilling expedition. Scientists lit it on fire so the gas wouldn't spread, and it's been on fire ever since. Our second headline is two bits of news from New Zealand today. First, a Maori journalist becomes the first person with facial markings to present the prime time news. Oruni Kaipara made history for representation of the Maori people. Secondly, the Maori people, not to be confused with the Maori people, are a distinct group that is finally being recognized in New Zealand. The New Zealand government awarded them approximately 12.3 million dollars and control over many sites that the Maori hold as important. In return for past injustices, our third headline is: Women sumo wrestlers are changing the sport in Japan. Professional sumo dates back more than 1,500 years. Though it has always been a sport for men, women have practiced sumo since at least the 8th century. Though it is still not allowed for women to practice sumo professionally. More and more girls and women are playing at the amateur level, and maybe one day they will be allowed to play professionally. Our fourth headline is: Uganda reopens its schools. It has been seven months, but Uganda has reopened its schools after the world's longest COVID-19 shutdown. Our fifth headline is. Quebec will impose a fine on the unvaccinated. Soon, Canadians who live in Quebec will have to pay a fine of approximately a thousand dollars for not receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. What do you think? And our question of the day is. Imagine you get fined for something, but you pay a little bit too much money accidentally. You get back three dimes, two pennies, a nickel, and a quarter. How much money do you get back? You might want to pause this while you get a pen and paper. Is it A, sixty cents, B, sixty-one cents, or C? Sixty-two cents, and the answer is C. Three dimes, two pennies, a nickel, and a quarter make sixty-two cents. Thanks for listening to World Catlines with Paxton. There's lots more news for cats streaming at LittleNewsEars.com. We're also on YouTube and major podcasting platforms. May your sweetness shine and your colors glow. Sources include the New York Times and CNN.